At the start of the movie, a woman leaves her daughter at the church door. The father had grabbed the girl, but the woman was not found after that day. Here we see a man coming out of a cabin. The scene cuts from here and shifts to the present. The girl we met in front of the church, whose name is now Ruby, has grown up. In an interview, she was telling her story, that how my real mother left me at the church door, and then I was adopted by Carla, who has proved to be the best mom in the world for me. During these talks, the show's director, hears some strange voices in the show. As if someone is whispering, they don't pay much attention. Continuing the interview, the host tells Ruby that the purpose of this show is to find your real parents. Through your DNA sample, we see that some strange creatures were doing mischief in this show, which are not completely visible at this time. They pick up someone's coffee mug and put it down from here, somewhere they remove the switches of the spotlights, because of which the spotlight was about to fall on Ruby, but the anchor saves her. At that time, it seemed like a normal accident, that suddenly the anchor gets a switch on his head, and he gets injured. This work was also of those small creatures. The scene is shown a few days later. Ruby was still working with a music band in a club, and here, the man shown at the beginning of the movie, Doctor Who, was keeping an eye on Ruby. The next day, Ruby is doing her job in this club, and today she finds Doctor Who, dancing differently from everyone. Ruby was liking it. We see that the small creatures are bothering Ruby again. They were about to drop Ruby's drink glass, so Doctor Who, catches it and puts it on the table. And he talks to Ruby. He tells her that I am from the health and safety department. Would you like to tell me that these strange things happen to you often, like falling and breaking things? Ruby says yes. Is it because I am very careless? Doctor Who says no, its reason is more dangerous than this. Saying this, he left Ruby in confusion and had left here. The next day, Ruby was going out with her friends. She tells her friends that I spoil a lot of things, and that's why I lost my job. I think I'm having a bad luck. They sit in a taxi and at the same time, the signal turns red. There was a snowman statue on them, whose screws also appear to be opening those small creatures. Before that statue falls on their car and their car has an accident, Doctor Who turns the signal green with his device. The car goes ahead and this statue falls on Doctor Who. After that, Doctor Who disappears from here by sitting in his teleportation cabin. The next day, Ruby was coming home from the grocery. And here too, those small creatures tear her grocery bag to bother her. Poor Ruby collects all the stuff, but the eggs were broken. She comes home and tells all this to her mom. Her mom tells her very happily that a new baby is coming to our house today. She also gets excited because today was her birthday too. Ruby's mom, Carla, who raised her, runs an orphanage. But she raised Ruby like her own daughter. At her home, she gives the responsibility of this little girl to Ruby. She goes out of the house, and then Ruby gets a call from that anchor, who was interviewing Ruby at the start of the movie. She tells Ruby that through your DNA, your real mom and dad were not found from all over the world. At the same time, she was asking Ruby if anything bad happened to you after that day. A lot of things went wrong with me. I had a lot of accidents. I fell off the boat. She was still very much injured. She was telling all this now that suddenly the Christmas tree kept with her also falls on her. And the call is disconnected. Ruby hears some sounds from the phone kept in the baby's room. As if someone is wishing her a birthday, she quickly goes to the baby's room and gets worried because the baby was not there. She sees under the bed and their camera is kept there. A picture was taken from their camera, in which we could see the face of that little creature. Ruby sees the creatures going from above and follows them. Where these creatures were taking the baby to the sky by putting her in a basket. Ruby also climbs up their ladder, and we see that Doctor comes here. Who tries to follow Ruby and asks Ruby, why are you climbing this ladder hanging from the sky? Ruby says that the creatures are taking the baby. The doctor also jumps and climbs the same ladder. And telling Ruby about their creatures, he says that their name is Goblin. Now Ruby was also finding it difficult to hang on this ladder. The doctor gives her such gloves, which could easily lift all the weight of Ruby. This ladder was attached to a ship flying in the sky. Doctor, who, says that this is the place of goblins, where goblins eat children. And now they will eat us too. Ruby is scared to hear this, and the goblins pull them up from the ladder. Goblins had imprisoned both of them. Ruby says to the doctor that today is my birthday. Hearing this, the doctor tells her that if today is the birthday of both of you and that girl, then due to this coincidence, the goblins have picked up that girl. Because coincidence makes the children more fun for the goblins. These goblins go after coincidence, luck and such things. Now as you had bad luck, so these goblins are after you. These goblins get to know about the future coincidences in advance. They had known that that girl is going to come to your house on Christmas Eve. Ruby asks that how do you know all this? The doctor says that I have just found out all this. Doctor who had also released himself at this time as well as Ruby. 
They tried to open these doors with the help of their gadgets, but nothing was metallic here. And their devices used to work on metals. They now use their brains and pull a rope tightly. And so these people are free from this trap. Ruby had told the doctor that she was born at 2 o'clock. And now according to the doctor, the goblins were going to eat this girl at 2 o'clock. These people were on their way to save the girl through a tunnel. And then they hear a bell. There were only 3 minutes left to 2 o'clock. These people look down from a hole, where there are a lot of goblins. On one side, some goblins are dancing. On the other side, the girl is being taken to the front on a conveyor belt. And on the other side, we are shown the king of the goblins, which was looking very big and very dangerous. Seeing this, Ruby gets even more scared. As Ruby's baby was going to move forward on the conveyor belt, and go into the king's mouth. And then by opening a doctor's rope, these two fall on the conveyor belt. On the same conveyor belt on which the girl was on. This conveyor belt stops, and all the goblins start looking at them in amazement. When Doctor Who picks up the child in front of the King of the Goblins, the King gets very angry. Now Doctor Who, introduces himself to them, and starts dancing to the song they are playing. The King and all the goblins are happy to see their dance. While dancing, Doctor himself wore a glove, and gave the other glove to Ruby. As soon as they wear both the gloves, they take the girl with the rope and come down. Goblin King was very angry to see these two running away from here. When these two had reached their home, here Doctor Who takes his gloves back from Ruby, because their charging was very low. Ruby was going to tell all this story to her mom, and Doctor forbids her to do so. Ruby, who was still scared, felt that the goblins would definitely come here to take their revenge. Doctor Who tells Ruby to check all the switches in the house. Because whatever the goblins did, it seemed like an accident in this world. Doctor Who felt that the goblins, would make some kind of short circuit here. After all this, Ruby tells her mom that she did not find any trace of her real mom and dad in this world. After hearing this, Carla becomes happy and says, it's good because I can't share you with anyone. After listening to them, the doctor says that I am also an adopted child. Wow, coincidence. As soon as these words come out of Carla's mouth, doctor forbids her to say these words. Because as we know that the goblins come after coincidence, so they could have come here too. But this time, the word, coincidence, came out of the doctor's mouth two to three times. As soon as he does this, their house suddenly starts breaking. There is a crack in the roof of the house, and their flat is broken in half. The doctor checks the whole house and says, thank God they left. This was probably their goodbye gift. Because the baby was also safe here. Even the goblins had disappeared from their picture. The doctor was happy with all this until he found out that Ruby was also missing from her house. It didn't just end here. Ruby was not only missing from her house, she was also missing from her mom's memories, from this world. All this clearly means that the goblins, went to the past and took little Ruby with them. The doctor understands that he will have to go back in time, and fix all these things. Sitting in his teleportation cabin, doctor arrives on the same night, when a lady left Ruby in front of the church. This is the same scene that we saw at the beginning of the movie. The doctor sees that the goblins were taking Ruby up. The doctor climbs up the stairs but the stairs break. On the other hand, the Goblin King was about to eat Ruby. When suddenly Doctor Who wears his super gloves, and pulls the Goblin's ship down. This ship collides with the church's pillar, which is stabbed in the stomach of the Goblin King. And the Goblin King dies there. After which the Goblin's ship disappears. The Doctor catches the falling Ruby, and puts her in front of the church again. And goes away from there. He sees that the church's father had taken Ruby to the church. After which he comes back to his machine in the present time. Where Ruby's flat was still cracked, he is very happy to see Ruby as before. He was telling all this story to Ruby that suddenly, he remembers the anchor, on which the Christmas tree was about to fall. He goes back to his teleportation cabin, to save her life from the goblins. And this time, after completing the mission, he does not come back to Ruby. Instead, Ruby finds him and reaches his teleportation cabin. As soon as Ruby opens the door of this cabin, she never thought that it must be so big from the inside. She was very impressed to see this. Doctor Who had solved all the problems of their life, which had come here because of the goblins, and the movie ends here.